So this is the um, my life for real. There was supposed to be a party up here, and nobody's here. So seems about right. <laughs> Two years ago, I was standing in this exact spot, and I had a woman next to me who loved me, that I was madly in love with, and then a bunch of black chicks who thought I looked like a sexy Perry Mason came back to my room. And it was a great night. And they say that you spend New Year's, like how you spend New Year's is how you're gonna spend the year. But last year, I was with that same person and we had a party in my apartment. My little apartment was packed with people and we had a really good time. And this year, I am alone by myself, unloved and unwanted with no one. And I was like that. For half the year, that thing about New Year's is total bullshit. Your year can be whatever you want it to be, apparently. And whatever you wish for it to be, apparently, no matter how bad your wishes are. So, something to keep in mind. But Happy New Year, everybody. All right, so it's New Year's Day. <clears throat> I have decided that I'm going to try to do some resolution things. Um, one of those is to get on a better, like, workout schedule. One is to drink less beer and mainly less alcohol and just have wine at night. See how that goes. And um, I'm going to actually try to not smoke anymore. So I have some cigarettes left and I want to get outside more and just like meander around town more. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go outside. Maybe I'll go to Maggie's and get some hazelnut coffee or something. And, um, fucking Maggie's is closed. So, I'm like, alright. I guess I'm going to 7-Eleven. And I went to 7-Eleven. And all their coffee was gone. They didn't have any fucking coffee. And I'm just like, Jesus fucking Christ. So now I'm going over to Starbucks and the funny thing is it looks closed. Like what the fuck, dude? It's just New Year's. It's not like some fucking crazy ass holiday. Oh, wait, no, it's open. Okay. So I'm gonna go into Starbucks and get a cup of coffee, I guess. But what I don't wanna do, which I always do, is whenever I do shit like this, I end up spending tons of money that I don't fucking have. That is the thing. Is this gonna change? Okay, cool. So yeah, so I don't wanna spend a shit ton of money. Just because I want to get out more. 
so we'll see how this goes. Everything looks fucking dead. It's fucking weird. It's just fucking another day. It's not even like a real holiday. I don't get it. Okay, everybody. I've been trying to turn the camera on for like the last couple minutes and I'm like pushing it. Nothing's happening. Okay, so what we're doing today, I am sick to death of how this beard contraption is working since I shaved all of this out for, um, what do you call it? For November and it is now January 6th or 5th or something. And, um, I just, I can't handle it anymore. So I got to clean this up. It looks ridiculous and it's driving me crazy. So uh, there's a good possibility that this is going to end horribly, but we're not going to know until I do it. Okay. So we are going to do it. So I think what I should do is actually brush all this up and make it really big looking. So then when I look down, it looks like whatever the fuck it's gonna look like. Okay, let's just fucking do this. Oh geez, that's ridiculous. I need to do that too. That's fucking up my shit. Okay. Okay, that does look cleaner. There's this one really long fucking hair. Okay. Now this does look ridiculous. Okay, we need to just cut this shit off. This, this looks fucking stupid. Okay, this is the part I am not terrified about because I don't want to go too short. So there you go. Now it just looks like I have a normal fucking beard. Yay, does that look better? Feels fucking better. Jesus fucking Christ. Let me see what's going on underneath. Yeah, I, that feels a hundred times better. Looks better, the whole thing. Okay, shit. Okay, so that looks good. So everything's fine now. Is it? <sighs> yeah, so there you go. That is how you fix a nasty fucking looking beard. Um, hopefully this was informative. <laughs> so I just went for a walk. Um, there were a lot of um, unhoused people doing weird stuff. More feces on the sidewalk than usual actually um, some plastic bags of urine and then when I got to the bottom of the hill um, someone lit a bunch of trash on fire um, on the street so that was fun a lot of people asking me for change and asking me for a light and all this shit and I forgot my phone so I didn't get to do any of it I went and got some drinks I got some chicharrones spicy and I'm gonna dip that into my Perdez avocado salsa but the star of the show as always is oh dude this smells so good Maggie's oh dude this smells amazing fresh daily so let's take a look oh my god so again we have Toasted bread, cheese, sprouts, bacon, lettuce, onions, spinach, bell peppers, cucumbers, and I, I don't know if I said pickles or not, tomato, turkey. Oh my god. So I'm going to be moving here soon, and Maggie's 
is honestly gonna be the thing I miss more than anything about this whole fucking neighborhood. Just saying. Oh my god. I miss it so much. And of course there's oil and vinegar and shit. So again, this is the 77. I add bacon and sprouts to it. And it's like 10 bucks. The veg juice. The veggies are so fresh. And honestly, trimming is really helping. You should have seen me the other day try to eat a breakfast burrito. I had like a bunch of mustache, a bunch of beard. Somehow my bangs fell down and were in my mouth too. What a mess. Mmm. So see all that. Probably smashed it or ate a bunch of it out. And we got sprouts coming out the back. That's nature's pubes, people. That is nature's pubes. And we all know how I feel about that. And if you don't know, you don't know me well enough. Oh my god, this is so good. The sandwich has everything. All these like different flavors, sweet, sour, crunchy, soft, chewy. Oh man, it's just the one thing about California that a lot of other places don't have. And I will talk as much shit about how dirty the fucking streets are and all this other shit. But the produce in California is absolutely ridiculous like it's always fresh it's always good it's big tasty juicy whatever the fuck it is fruit or vegetable it's just so good because there's so much of it and no one wants a bunch of rotted vegetables the prices are really good so the best way to talk about that is how much do you pay for an avocado? Because I could probably get three or four for however much you pay for one. Just saying. Oh my God, that was so fucking good. And I still have another half a sandwich. But let's get into some pork rind. Oh, that actually smells like shit. Yeah, this doesn't smell very nice. Might just be the plastic in the bag. Oh, gross. Yeah, so spicy chicharrones. I'm gonna dip it in my sauce. Mm. Man, I needed some crunchy. What does it say, hot and spicy? Barely. My freaking Heard as is more fucking spicy than this shit. Mm. So fucking good. I know the light's not very good in here. So let me show you. So I got my stuff and I got my stuff. Dude, if you haven't tried Heard as avocado salsa,
I mix it with everything. Like when I have salsa, um, I usually take, um, like I'll take a bowl like this and I'll fill half of it with salsa and then put this on top of that and mix that up. Put it on everything. Had um, burritos the other night. Covered them in this shit. It's not guacamole. Everyone's like, oh, you mean like guacamole? No, it's a completely different thing. It's um, just like a runny sauce. And it has... Um, it's more avocado flavored, but for those of you who live near like an El Pollo Loco, you know that cilantro dressing. It's that consistency. And imagine that same flavor but add avocado to it on top of everything else that's in it. So good. And get, like, the hot is kind of hot. The medium is pretty plain, or the mild's pretty plain, but the medium's good. But I think most people who like hot stuff or who say they like hot stuff probably should just get the medium. Like, I think if they did more than that, they would kind of freak out. All right, guys, that's Eating with Matt. Okay, um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here because there is a possibility that I don't need to drive my car anywhere. So should I just walk everywhere yeah everybody seems pretty adamant about not moving their cars today okay so basically what's been going on is that for the last three weeks i've been playing chicken with the street sweeper and the parking cops and um i was feeling like i was uh flying a little too close to the sun if you know what i mean because um, I've been parked in the same spot for like two weeks now. And um, I just found out that you could actually go online and put in what your address is and shit. And they will send you messages the day before letting you know if the street sweeper is going to come or not. Which is crazy. So, I just thought that this one dude in our building was, like, some weird wizard and just, like, could foresee the future and shit. But it turns out that he's just getting his information from the city. So, there you go. Mystery solved. Fucking weird. Yeah, my plans are completely different now for the day. Like, I feel like I'm doing something completely different. What I was going to do, I have a meeting in an hour, probably less than an hour. So I need to find a place where I could post up and do that. But I also really wanted to go to the smoke shop wanted to get some coffee, get some breakfast. There's just some stuff that I need to do. So I wanted to record the podcast today. I actually have to make a bunch of appointments. So I got to go on that shit. So that's a whole lot of fun. But yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see what's going on. I, I need, okay. and maybe I will find a nice papusa place for lunch.
went the wrong way. Yeah, this is like some like dark, scary Korean barbecue. Doesn't let the sun come in ever. I thought I was one block up higher <clears throat> and I was gonna go to Lafayette Park. Chill for a bit. But now I'm thinking I may need to go somewhere else. Cause I'm running out of time. I only have like 10 minutes. You've been doing this long? Sorry? Have you been doing Uber long? Uh, like two years. You like it? I tell you true, now no making money. Before I work in liquor store, one liquor store 22 years. Oh but wow. Problem, my boss no give a raise. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. $17, 22 year work. And no break, 10 hours continue. No break, no overtime, 10 hours continue. Uh. So I am tired, then I said, give me race. He said, no, I cannot. Then I did this. So, then I started. This one only problem is the gas so high. Yeah. And uh, not making good money. Are there certain areas or times that are Yeah, better? certain area have time, but uh, sometimes it's very far. Yeah. Because there's probably a bunch of people doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But thanks God. Thanks God <laughs> we have survived. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.